welcome to STEM Safari Channel. Today, we're going to answer the question, how do rockets work? But first, let's look at the top five heaviest rockets ever made. Number one, the Falcon Heavy rocket. Developed in the United States, the Falcon Heavy is the prime powerful operational rocket existing today. It is a giant leap SpaceX company has future goal of establishing a setup on the planet Mars. The rocket stands at 230 feet and has 27 powerful Merlin 1D engines. Each of the rocket's three boosters can propel massive 1.7 million pounds of thrust, leveraging the machine to space. The rocket is flying from February 2018 until the present time and can carry 140,700 pounds of payload in lower Earth orbit. The rocket is propelled by three reusable boosters that can be detached separation. During a demonstration flight of the Falcon Heavy conducted in February 2018, two of the three huge boosters successfully landed at the Kennedy Space Center. Number two is the Delta for Heavy. Developed in the United States, the Delta for Heavy is the most powerful rocket of the Delta rocket. Franchise family. The enormous rocket can carry a payload of 22,000 to the moon or a full 17,600 payload to the planet Mars transfer orbit. This was the most powerful rocket before the launch of Falcon Heavy. The United Launch Alliance launched Delta for rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and Vandenberg Air Force Base. In August 2018, the rocket carried the Parker Solar Probe beyond Earth's orbit on a scientific mission. The rocket is in use from January 2004 until the present time and stands at the height of 236 feet. The max payload that Delta for Heavy can carry is 63,470 pounds. Note 3 is the Space Shuttle. Developed by the United States, space shuttles flew from April 1981 to July 2011 and stood at the height of 184.2 feet. The rocket could carry payloads of 60,000 pounds in low Earth orbit. Space shuttles bore a plane-like orbiter with an orange hued external fuel tank and became the face of American space exploration. They had to pull in rocket boosters to propel the machine into orbit. The space shuttles Atlantis, Challenger, Columbia, Discovery, and Endeavour were launched 135 times between 1981 to 2011, No, for as the Energy rocket. Developed by the Soviet Union, a.k.a. USSR, Energy was a rocket designed to launch human-crewed spacecraft. The Energy rocket was launched twice into space. The first launch was a test conducted and carried uncrewed Polyu spacecraft. The rocket successfully launched on the first test. However, a software error failed the Polyu spacecraft to reach orbit. The second launch of Energia successfully carried the uncrewed Buran spacecraft into Earth orbit. The Energia rocket was discontinued after the fall of the Soviet Union. The rocket flew from May 1987 to November 1988 and stands at the height of 190 feet. The maximum payload it carried is 220,000 pounds. Number five is Saturn V rocket. Developed by the United States, the Saturn V retired in 1973. The Saturn V rocket remains the tallest, heaviest, and magnum powerful rocket ever flown in history. The rocket was successfully launched 13 times from the Kennedy Space Center. It was a prestigious rocket choice for many Apollo moon missions, including the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. The Saturn V also carried Skylab into orbit in 1973. Saturn V stood at 363 feet and flew from November 1967 to May 1973. It could carry a payload of up to 310,000 pounds into Earth's orbit. But how do they work? Let's take a look. The main part of a powerful rocket is the rocket engine. It's a complex engine with thousands of parts. Basically, it takes fuel and oxidizer, mixes them together, and then burns them. The burning creates a huge amount of pressure that needs to go somewhere. So it goes out the back of the rocket as exhaust. This exhaust is what creates thrust, which propels the rocket forward. The more fuel you burn, the more thrust you get. Now. Rockets can be made more powerful by adding more engines. And here is a simple video that shows how multiple rocket engines work together to create even more thrust. These are called parallel engines. They're all working at the same time. Now, rockets can also be made more powerful by linking the engines together in series. 
and this means one after another. So each engine adds its thrust on top of the last one. Which do you think is better, parallel or series? Let me know in the comments below. Now it's an exciting time to be alive. We're entering a golden age of space exploration. With each passing year, technology gets better and cheaper. Soon, exploratory travel to other planets will become commonplace. Who knows? Maybe one day you'll get the chance to travel to other planets, too. Many scientists around the world are reverse engineering the disk-shaped spaceships, aka UFOs, which have landed or crashed on Earth, and it is very likely that some human-made prototypes are already in testing. This is a new kind of flying saucer spaceship. This is alien tech, not mastered by humans so far. It's believed that these disk-shaped spaceships of UFO are capable of interplanetary travel and also hold secrets to find and navigate through time warps or wormholes to transport people and cargo to and from other planets. Watch this. It can take off and land like a helicopter. It can fly through the atmosphere of other planets. It can even fly backwards. It's being developed in top secret and nobody knows where or when the prototypes are being tested. It could revolutionize space travel. Here's another amazing discovery made by space scientists a few years back. It's called a time warp or a wormhole. It has basically a big massive tunnel in deep space, which is possibly a shortcut through the darkness of deep space to reach other civilizations out there. Nobody knows if it has nature made or alien technology, which is out there, but there are clear things. It is out there and humans just need to learn how to use it to find planets that are suitable for life. It could be the most important discovery in the history of mankind.